You can turn using the A-frame lunge turn and it's pretty easy now. So now you want to move on to doing a more professional looking turn, the parallel turn, similar to skiing. So to do the parallel turn, we're going to be using three stages to do it. The first stage is similar to that of the heel brake stop, where we put the right foot in front of the left as we're gliding along, so our feet are scissored. The second stage is to actually feel the feet tilting beneath you. So we're going to start pushing our, our ankles and our knees over towards the way that we're turning. If we're going to be turning right, we want our right foot in front and we want to be pushing our knees towards the right. We want to be tilting our feet that way. The third step is one of the most important steps of all and it's to do with the upper body. We want to allow ourselves to turn. So we're going to turn to face the way that we want to go. If it helps, reach out with your hand the way that you want to go as well. You should start to feel your feet arcing around beneath you. The most common problem with the parallel turn is that our bodies just don't want to do it because in order to do it, we need to be leaning over slightly and having a little trust in what we're doing. So the most common thing that goes wrong is the upper body. We're doing everything right with our feet, we're turning the upper body, but our arms are still sort of reaching over there, or our, our arms are going the right way, but our hips are pushed right over there. So as you can see, I'm not really going to be going in that direction. So what you need to do, if that's the case, is really push the hips over. Maybe turn your head slightly less than you were so that your parallel turn is slightly less ambitious than it was before. Another problem that happens is that our knees are too straight. If our knees are too straight, it is going to be hard for our feet to come round. So we want to bend our knees. That gives our feet a lot more flexibility in relation to the rest of our body. So if we bend our knees whilst we're doing the parallel turn, we're going to find it a lot easier to move round. You can do the parallel turn. So again, just like the A-frame lunge turn, see if you can make it tighter this time and see if you can lean into it more. When you lean into it more, you'll notice a huge difference with the tightness of turn that you're able to achieve. Once you're able to do the parallel turn, take a look at some of the slalom moves. 